and I'm gonna get the stream rolling and then we'll go straight into Chance, stick around. Yeah, we should have had some folks stick around. All right. Hey, folks, this is your DM Alex coming to you live from the Comic Emporium. Uh, today is our trivia contest. And so today's uh, um, theme is going to be the Spider Verse. And we're going to stream it live for you guys so that you at home can play. Unfortunately, you have to be here to win. But let's see if you know more than the players currently playing. All right, so I'll give you just a, a few seconds here, and then I'm going to get started reading questions. So very first question, number one, everybody's got your name on your answer sheets. Fantastic. All right, number one, which Daredevil villain was originally a Spider-Man villain? Okay. Number two, what is the alter ego of Spider-Man 2099? And for those of you who are playing at home, feel free to comment your answers. <laughs> okay, trivia question number three. Who is missing from this list of the original Sinister Six? Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Electro, Mysterio, Craven the Hunter, and Okay. I know nothing. Spider <laughs> <Fight or rest. laughs> All right, question number four. Who was the first villain that Spider-Man ever fought? <laughs> Corporate greed is not a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. What was Peter Parker's wrestling name when he first gained his powers? I got nobody commenting from home, so I'm guessing this must be too, pretty difficult. Okay. Question number six. Who successfully killed Spider-Man? All right. Question number seven. Which organization did Spider-Man join after the death of Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch? Okay, question number eight. Which Hell's Kitchen-based superheroine had a crush on Spider-Man that did not end in a romantic relationship. What question was that? This is question number eight. <laughs> okay, question number nine. Of all the mutants in the Marvel Universe, which X-Men dated Spider-Man? Okay. Question number 10. What comic dealt with Peter Parker's grief after the death of Gwen Stacy? Okay, question number 11. Symbiotes play a big part in the Spider-Man story, but what is their actual name? Oh, 
Hands are working up in my blankets. Symbiote was her name. <laughs> okay. Moving on, question number 12. Who trained Assassin Spider Man? Okay, question number 13. After witnessing a fight between Daredevil and Stilt Man, which character created a suit that mimicked Spider Man's abilities? Which number was the question about the foe that was in Daredevil that was in Spidey first? Is that number one? That was number one. Okay. Question number 14. What's the name of the suit that Tony Stark made for Spider-Man? Dangerous. <laughs> Not mom approved. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go on. What number was that one? That was number 14. That was 13. No, 13 was... Just kidding. <laughs> okay, number 15. What is the name of the comic that Spider-Man first appears in? This is 15. This is number 15. I'd like to phone a friend. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number 16. This is for all you video game players out there. Which anti hero teamed up with Spider Man in Maximum Carnage? All right. Number 17. What villain does J. Jonah Jameson's son become? Okay. Question number 18. We're over halfway, guys. <laughs> That's a long one. What name? Did Peter Parker go by when merged with the Enigma Force? Question number 19. What is the name of the one other person who... We're on 19. Yeah. What is the name of the one other person who was bitten by the same radioactive spider that bit Peter Parker? Yeah, someone was telling me, telling them they stopped. <laughs> Question number 20. Who killed Gwen Stacy? Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 21. Out of these four adjectives, which one has not been a Spider Man title? Amazing. Astonishing, fantastic, spectacular, or ultimate? This is 21. This is 21. Read it one more time. Amazing, astonishing, fantastic, spectacular, or ultimate?
Question number 22. What feature of the spider suit was removed after the initial debut? When you guys get these answers, you're going to be like, oh, I knew that. <laughs> Question number 23. We're in the home stretch. In Dark Rain, which villain led the Avengers? What's the number? This is question number 23. Okay. In Dark Rain, which villain led the Avengers? All right, question number 24. What is the name of Spider-Man's animal counterpart? Damn. That was question 24. Question 25. What news organization does Peter Parker freelance for? <laughs> Guys, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. The faces they make when they know it and they can't actually get it out of their head there. Okay. That was question number 25. Question 26. Which villain created a clone of Peter Parker? Question 26, which villain created a clone of Peter Parker? All right, question number 27. Who was the original Scarlet Spider? Who was the original? Scarlet Spider. Question 28. Everybody should get this. Finish this famous quote with great... What number is that? This is 28. Give us an old woman. <laughs> okay. Question 29. While Spider-Man number 252 should be the first appearance of Black Suit Spider-Man, canonically speaking, what title and issue did Spider-Man first obtain the Black Suit? <laughs> okay here we go all right question 30 this is a bonus question if you get this right it's worth double points what was the actual first ever appearance of the black suit spider-man I feel like the knowledge of that one should be a job requirement. <laughs> I'll ask again. What was the actual first ever appearance of the black suit Spider-Man? Okay, that is all 30 questions. Now let's go through the answers. So if you will swap pages. <laughs> Question number one. Which Daredevil villain was originally a Spider-Man villain? The answer is Kingpin. Kingpin. <laughs> you said Daredevil, I thought Deadpool. So I was like... <laughs> Question number two. What is the alter ego of Spider-Man 2099? 
Miguel O'Hara was actually the first Hispanic descent uh, Spider-Man before Miles Morales. Okay, so who is missing from this list of the original Sinister Six? We have Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Electro, Mysterio, Craven the Hunter, and Sandman. <laughs> That's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I left a whole lot of blank on that sheet. Yeah. Question number four: Who was the first villain Spider-Man ever fought? Chameleon. Question number five: What was Peter Parker's wrestling name when he first gained his powers? The Masked Marvel. Mm. Question number six. Who successfully killed Spider-Man? This is a great storyline. Dr. Octopus. And then he takes over the body. Yeah. Question number seven. I think I'm going to trip some of you up with this one. Which organization did Spider-Man join after the death of Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch? How many people said Fantastic Four? Me. It's the Future Foundation. Clearly we knew that. We were just <laughs> you know, going with what we thought you were asking for. Question number eight. Which Hell's Kitchen-based superheroine had a crush on Spider-Man that did not end in a romantic relationship? No idea. Jessica Jones. Really? No. Now let's get you straight here. Spider-Man has had a lot of romantic partners. Jessica Jones was not one of them. Good. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> no, ma'am. Of all the mutants in Marvel Universe, which X-Men dated Spider-Man? Kitty Pride. Really? Well, yeah. You guys are learning stuff. <laughs> okay. What comic dealt with Peter Parker's grief after that death of Gwen Stacy? Spider-Man Blue. It was his blue period. No. Oh. Remember, man? Number 11. Symbiotes play a big part in the Spider-Man story, but what is their actual name? Clintar. K-L-Y-N-T-A-R. Clintar. Who trained Assassin Spider-Man? Wolverine! Ew. Man. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you want to go read the comics, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so after witnessing a fight between Daredevil and Stilt Man, which character created a suit that mimics Spider-Man's abilities? You saw him recently in animation. It's Prowler. What's the name of the suit that Tony Stark made for Spider-Man? The Iron Spider. What is the name of the comic that Spider-Man first appears in? We've got it on the shelf right now. It's called Amazing Fantasy. Sure. Yeah, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Just specifically number David also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all. Number 14. Yeah. Okay. Question number 16. Which anti-hero teamed up with Spider-Man in Maximum Carnage? Venom. You get to play him about a uh, quarter of the way through the game. You switch over. It's a good game. If you've never played Maximum Carnage, go give it a shot. Okay, what villain does J. Jonah Jameson's son become? Man-Wolf, after he had a mishap on the moon. I hate those moon mishaps. <laughs> Question number 18. What name did Peter Parker go by when merged with the Enigma Force? Captain Universe. Goober. <laughs> Number 19. What is the name of the one other person who was bitten by the same radioactive spider that bit Peter Parker? Cindy Moon. And she comes back later on. She, right after she got bit, she was taken away and they did all kinds of experiments on her and trained her. And then she comes back later as, a, as an ally to Spider-Man. Question number 20. Now, this is a trick mm -hmm. question. We'll see who gets it right. Who killed Gwen Stacy? What do we got out there? Green Goblin. What is it? Who killed Gwen Stacy? This is question number 20. 
It was Spider Man. Close with Green Goblin, though, because Green Goblin figured out um, who Peter Parker's secret identity was. And rather than striking him, he actually attacks his love interest, Gwen Stacy, and he takes her to what they call the Washington Bridge. But in the comic panel, it actually is the Brooklyn Bridge. And he drops her. And Spider Man throws webs to catch her. They wrap around her ankle, and it, the sudden stop causes whiplash that breaks her neck. And that's later confirmed in the uh, comic when they do the um, autopsy and they determine that it, that was what actually killed her. Bonus fact, you know the real reason they killed Gwen Stacy? I just found this out the other day. Because Steve Ditko was leaving the comic and the new uh, story guy that was coming in actually said, you know what, we got to get rid of this... Uh, um, we've got to get rid of Gwen Stacy, his love interest, so I can bring in Mary Jane Watson. So that's the real reason Gwen <laughs> Stacy was killed. Okay, out of these four adjectives, and actually it should be five, out of these five adjectives, which one has not been a Spider-Man title? We've got amazing, we've got astonishing, we've got spectacular, we've got ultimate, but there has never been a fantastic Spider-Man. <laughs> Even though he did actually spend some time with the Fantastic Four, and uh, the thing, Ben Grimm actually gave him a mask to wear since he was wearing the Four suit, and it was just a paper bag over his head, and he was the amazing bag man. <laughs> okay. Question number 22. What feature of the spider suit was removed after the initial debut? Web wings. You look back in the original comics, he's got wings uh, that are made out of webs going across his arms and legs. Yeah. And they later on took those out, but they have since like um, kind of given him some extra powers and abilities to kind of make up for that. Yeah. But it was also he could have a little bit more hang time in the air between um, thwips. Gene said cape. Is that close enough? <laughs> Dad said the same thing. He said <laughs> cape. Okay. <was> cape S. <laughs> F. Okay, question number 23. In Dark Reign, which villain led the Avengers? Green Goblin. The so whole, the Avengers were all replaced with uh, villains, and Green Goblin was their leader. Okay, question number 24. What is the name of Spider-Man's animal counterpart? If you said Spider-Pig, you are incorrect. But if you said Spider-Ham, a.k.a. Peter Porker, you are correct. <laughs> Question number 25. What news organization does Peter Barker freelance for? The Daily Bugle. <laughs> Come on, everybody got that one. Later shortened to just DB, and then after it fell, Jay Jonathan uh, actually revived it um, using his shares from DB. Okay, question number 26. Which villain created a clone of Peter Parker? Jackal. Jackal created the clones. Number 27, who is the original Scarlet Spider? Ben Riley, the first clone of Spider Man who adopts the name Ben after um, Uncle Ben. Finish this famous quote with great power comes great responsibility. Everybody should have got that one right. There's a Weird Al song about it. <laughs> Just in case you forget, they're going to say it over and over and over and over again. <laughs> okay. Question number 29. While Spider-Man number 252 should be the first appearance of the black suit, Spider-Man, canonically speaking, what title and issue did Spider-Man first obtain the black suit? Secret Wars number eight. See, 252 came out first and they had him in the black suit. It actually released, and then several months later the Secret Wars number 8 release where they actually explain where the black suit comes from and that issue takes place before issue number 252. So canonically speaking, he got it in Secret Wars 8. However, 252 was the one where it actually first appeared in comics. Chronologically, yes. Okay, now for the bonus question. What was the actual first ever appearance of the black suit Spider-Man? It was not a Spider-Man title. It was not a Spider-Man title. In fact, it was not even a comic, but it was Comics Journal number 85, which would later become known as Previews. 
and it was a print of the black suit in and explaining this is what's upcoming and the black suit was actually an idea submitted by a child who was like why don't we give him a black suit <laughs> and so of course you know um stanley was immediately like that's a great idea thank you for that and that's what they ran with. All right, so total up your question, total up your points, what you got correct. Hey, everybody who's been playing at home, we uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you next month.